Hey guys, it's Wilson here. So, I'm about to start my fourth expert uh, phantom draft run. Um, the first one I won 5-0, so that was a great start. Then I got a 3-2 run, so I still got a ticket. And then I won 5-1 in my third one. So, hopefully uh, we'll get another 5 win here. And uh, I'm feeling confident to um, do some analysis and walk through while I'm uh, drafting the cards now, since it's gone so well. Okay, so right off the bat we offered a Venomancer. While I like Venomancer, I don't like to start with him. Um, he's a good hero, but not as a first pick in my opinion. I'm hoping there's gonna come something better. So I'm gonna go with a pick off and an Oak Conscript, which are both just really solid cards. Tidehunter. I have actually never played yet. Um, he can be good. He's really hard to kill, but he does need some sort of weapon on him to be able to do stuff. What other cards do we have? I'm gonna pick a Vandal for sure. I don't even know if I want a Tide Hunter or a Keef to be honest. He, he needs to be in a very specific deck. I think he's way better in Constructor than in Draft, so I'll skip him here. Um, these cards, I'll just get a new orders here. Actually, I'll go for the face boots. I really like face boots. Um, okay, here we have really underwhelming cards. Duke can be decent. Smeagol Blacksmith is just a filler. Um, it's nice to have a red mist mall in the deck sometimes. I've won a few games in the other runs because I had one of those. And we get a lion and a stone hollow plate. Hmm. Lion is. Uh, well, people think he's a bad hero. I don't think he's as bad as people think. And we're getting really late into the pack, so I'm gonna pick him here, because I think otherwise we're gonna going to end up with something like a Meepo or an Obsidian Destroyer, and that would just be terrible. Yeah, see, there's the Outworld Destroyer. I was scared of Lion is way better than. Trebuchet and Fight Through the Pain are good. And pick a fight and Hellbear Crippler. Good last cards. Okay, we get a Treant right out of the bat, and a Thunderhide. We also get a Conflagration, and a gold mine and a Payday, and a Lost in Time, so there's tons of good cards. Just depends where we want to go with it. Um, so far we are, we are probably going for one black at least. Uh, but we don't have much of anything else yet, so I'll just pick for the best value. If I can, I want to try to avoid a blue hero. But if something like a Sushu is up, I just might have to pick him. I really want to pick the Assassin's Apprentice, because we know we're getting a black hero already, but I'll have to pick the Conflagration just in case. Treant is also really good, so I could go for Thunderhide and Treant. Um, but Conflagration is so good! I'll go for the tree and tree and this really solid. Tree and Thunderhide. There's the Venomancer again, but we don't wanna play blue here, I think. Like to play a Venomancer, you need to have a really strong flop so that you can take control of the board. Then you have a lane where there's a free spot for Venomancer where he doesn't get killed, and you deploy him into that lane on the uh as the first hero coming out, so that he can just sit there and make his wards and slowly win the lane, at which point you can move out the other hero. And then he just kind of sits there and makes wards and wins slowly. Um, you don't want to put him in a contested spot. Okay, as for the good cards here, we can pick another trebuchet. Yeah, maybe. I mean, the more you have, the better they get, right? And the rest of the cards aren't really fantastic. I guess I'll pick a selfless cleric, selfish cleric, just because I need more green along with my tree. Ogre Magi would have been nice. 
Um, gonna go with Assassin's Apprentice and Arm the Rebellion here. Both solid cards in draft. Friendly Fire could have been better, but that would have meant we wanted to go blue as well. Ursa would have been nice as well, but not better than Tree, so that's fine. Intimidation is such an extremely good card. I am in love with this card. It has won me so many draft games. Uh, Cursed Terrier makes a zombie for my opponent. Uh, fun fact, if the zombie dies in the combat phase, it doesn't... S I mean, if the Satyr dies in the combat phase, it doesn't actually summon the zombie, so... There's that. I don't really need another Red Mist Maul, to be honest. Although, I could make a complete siege deck with trebuchets and two mauls. And I really don't want to play a Satyr. Okay, Book of the Dead and Crippler. Sucker Punch is really good, but only if we get two red heroes. Uh, and I'm having the feeling that if we get a red hero, we will only have one. Okay, Blue Party. Kana. In Draft. Hmm. She's really good in Constructed. Uh, if I go Kana, it would be to just rush down the enemy. But I think she's a bit too weak, to be honest. I'm gonna hold out for another hero and pick a Rebel Decoy, because that's really good. And a Duke, just solid big. Earthshaker, what's with all these blue heroes? Salamini's favor to ramp into our Thunderheights. And a conscript in case we get another red card. I could take a forward charge, but I'd rather win with uh, control. It's not really my style of rushing that much. Okay, Necrophos, great black hero. Uh, and we're going black. So, he's in. Question is, do we get... Which card do we get to go with him? The items are really nice as well, but I won't be buying them, or taking them. Uh, give a black hero plus 8 attack this round, choose a combat target for it. I love that one. I also love Assassin's Apprentice. Ravenous Mask can be fun, I think. I'm not sure though, I haven't really tried it yet. I think for drop consistency I'll go with the Apprentice here, just because it's a minion that can block something and it kinda does a little bit the same that Murderplot does, but obviously it doesn't have as much damage, but it's a creep. So you can also do other things with it. We get to pick another Trebuchet and a Stars Align to ramp into a Thunder High Pack again. Three tre Trebuchets, this might be a really strong rush deck actually. Two small creeps again, Apprentice and Volmartyr, both good in my opinion. And uh, two items that we have to pick, e even okay ones. Okay, we offered a Viper and two Thunderhide packs and a Disciple. Hmm, I really like Viper, but I don't think he's that much better than Firebind, so I will skip him here, since our other cards are so extremely good. The question is... Should I get both the packs, or should I get a pack and a Disciple? And I'm thinking, since we have a lot of early game in this uh, deck with three Apprentices and a Glody and some small minions here, and we already have one Thunderhide, I could go for the Disciple. Um, I give it... G <laughs> it's, it's obviously uh, just a gamble, because if I can end early with Disciple, then that's best, and if I have to go late with Thunderhide, then that's best. That being said, my heroes aren't the most rushy heroes in the world, and I do like to play for control, so I'll actually go for the two Thunderheads. Okay, we offered a Sven and two Disciples. Do we have enough red cards to put a single red hero in here? We have two conscripts, two cripplers, so more creeps, more options to play creeps, and the kind of problem is I have 16 
queen cards, and I would like to play Debbie over Farvan, but I could pick a Sven, and then I could uh, play Farvan as my uh, last hero if I'm not offered a better green one, of course. I think Sven is really solid. Um, But then again, I could take two disciples. Oh, it's also another conscript. This is uh, there's a lot of a lot of options in this draft. Um, things that start on the board, necro and tree can start on the board, and Farvan can obviously start on the board as well. Sven could too. Sven isn't the best hero to get. Would I be okay with having a Debbie? And a Farban instead of the Sven. That's the question. And I think with two disciples here, the answer to that is actually yes. So I'll skip the Sven. Tyler State Sensor and Assassin's Shadow. Haven't tried the Shadow yet, but it seems fun. Uh, wondering if I should get a Bellow. Just to get more push in the lane when I want to kill it. I think it might be better than the sensor, since the sensor doesn't do that much, but... I have one 4-drop in black. And it, uh, yeah. I'll take this. Okay. Like, we're committed to black-green now, since we skipped that Sven, so we'll go for these two. This is only useful if you're playing against the Zeus or something and you really need to delay the Thunder Gods. But hey, let's get it. Okay, Cloak of Endless Carnage and. Yeah, no, actually, I'll take the plus three Siege, even though it's a really bad card, just because I am pushing for a lot of indirect damage and maybe they can't stop me. Crystal Maiden, fantastic. There's the Viper again, and the Mist of Avernus. <gasps> Mist of Avernus with this deck would be sick. I still think Farvan is fine slash better than Viper, so I won't pick Viper. I just really like his theme, he's hard to make work though. And... Do I get a Duelist or Slay? I don't have any Slays don't have that many 4-drops in green either. I don't want to use the cover of night because I want to try and end early and if I don't I have the thunder hearts to punch through the last siege damage. Mist and duel is to this. Okay. Path of the Dreamer. I don't think I'm gonna lose the early game per se, so I don't really want to play the Path of the Dreamer. Could be a good card otherwise. Divine Intervention is extremely good. Especially when you're trying to develop a big board like I will do, and then you pop down that thing. Maybe on top of it, Disciples or nothing take da takes damage even though you have no armor. Do I have any expensive items so I need a payday? No, I don't think so. Take the hipfire as well then. Unsupervised artillery may only be used if there are no unblocked enemies. Well, since I have a lot of creeps, there's probably not going to be a lot of unblocked enemies. And just another trebuchet, why not? Stone cloak. And I suppose an obliterating orb. Tide hunter. Do I want to play him over Debbie? No, I have way too many black cards. I need a two-color deck here. Doesn't matter which one I pick. Prelix. A hero I really like, but not one I'll be playing. Okay, so Lion, Necro, Triant, Debbie, and Farvan, the Dreamer. And we swap Farvan and Lion. So Lion comes out on turn 3. 
Okay, let's uh, just start with the green stuff we want. We would like three Thunderhide Packs, Intimidation, Divine Intervention, Salamini's Favorite Duelist, Arm the Rebellion, Decoy Mist. We would like Stars Align. The rest we will fill with, depending on how many black cards we have in our deck. Here we would like a Shadow, a Pig Off, a Vandal, a Hipfire, a two Disciples, three Apprentices, the four Trebuchets, and the Artillery. And that actually adds up to precisely 40 cards. So let's just see if there's something really important I missed here. The Dukes can be nice, but not necessary, I think. I'd rather have more drops. Mole Mardier. Hmm. I think this is a really solid deck. Solid deck we've drafted up. The Assassin's Shadow doesn't have any siege, so it's really easy to block. And if you don't block it, it just just doesn't do anything. Um, and I have 23 black and 17 green. Thinking of taking out the shadow and putting in the martyr. What do my creeps look like? Three, four, six, seven black ones. That would mean I have eleven green creeps. Okay, so I don't need to... Hmm. You know what? I've never played the Shadow, so I want to play it and I still think it's a really good deck for getting far. Um, I don't want to deploy Debbie as my first hero, because if one of their three heroes is matched up against the creep and they kill the creep and take a bit of damage, then I can choose which matchup Debbie gets depending on the deployment and just put him in front of a hero and uh, hit it. Or if I win one of the lanes, which I probably will, I can just put him in a free spot so he hits the tower for 9. So, and that's a really nice bonus since I want to try and kill the tower quickly. Okay, my items. Uh, face boots can be great. Stonehall cloak, Stonehall plates. I really like Stonehall plate as well, by the way, even though people don't really value armor that much. Uh, after the initial two, I think it's fantastic if you can get a hero up to like four armor, it becomes almost unkillable. Um, unless you're playing against Zeus or something. And in draft, you're not playing against Zeus that often. Most of the stuff in draft is affected by armor. Uh, we'll put in the three cloaks, almost mandatory. Then we need three more items. We could put in two red mist malls just to have more siege. Well, I, well, actually, I don't have any siege because I didn't take the uh, the collateral damage I picked up. But I don't want to spend a card on that, so. That's fine. Chainmail, plus two armor on a naked hero is good. Let's see if there's anything. Everything has over four attacks, so I don't strictly need a short sword. It can be really nice to have some though, so I'll get one. And I think my items aren't that expensive, so I might get, might get to go through them semi quickly. I really like Book of the Dead as well. Chainmail is not good enough for me. I'll get two red mist malls just to siege down if I can't get through the last damage. Yeah, this is gonna be the deck. I think it's a really solid aggro slash mid game deck that has the option of finishing the game with uh, potentially three Thunderhide packs that can punch through anything and just trebuchets that just shoot the enemy tower no matter what they do. Yeah. So um, I'll uh, play with this. I'll be streaming it on Twitch, Twitch TV slash Swellsong. Um, probably tomorrow afternoon, Danish time. And uh, who knows, maybe if it goes really well you'll see a recording of some of the matches. And if I do that I'll be sure to let you know what the final record was. 
So take care if you enjoyed this draft and only if you enjoyed this draft and video and feel like my content is good and you learned something, please um, do subscribe because I'm quite new to all this and it's uh, nice to get any sort of feedback. So see you guys.